Hello, everybody. Did you have some guacamole while you were waiting for this next lesson? I hope so. <laughs> okay. Well, let's find out how to make some other kinds of delicious foods. The first one is cheesy pizza. Cheesy pizza. Okay. So the children and dad made a pizza. The children and dad. So remember, Jasmine, Nat, and Dad. All three of them worked together. Because pizzas, pizza is a difficult thing to make. Everybody has to work together. The children got everything ready. We remember that sentence from the other lesson about guacamole. Jasmine got everything ready to make guacamole. To make cheesy pizza, the children got everything ready. Get everything ready. It means you gather all the ingredients. And this is an important thing to do before you do anything, whether it's cooking, studying, going to play a sport. You need certain things. So you need to get everything ready before you do something. So this is a very important sentence. Get everything ready. Okay. Dad made the dough. Nat rolled it out. It means dough. What is dough? Dough, we can see a picture here of dough. This is dough. Dough is like uh, bread, uh, wheat that you mix, or, or flour that you mix. It's like garu. Garu, you mix with water, and maybe you put some other ingredients into it, and you make it like this, and it's very soft. It's like when you make bread. It's what you have before you make bread, before you cook it. That's dough. And it's kind of fun to play with, actually. <laughs> you can make little shapes. You can push it. You can make a ball out of it. But don't play with it too much, okay? <laughs> you don't want to get it dirty, right? So uh, Dad made the dough. Nat rolled it out. Nat is using a roller. He's going to use a rolling pin, and he's going to roll it out. Why? Because the dough is going to be the bottom of the pizza. And as you know with pizza, it's very flat, right? So you have to make it flat, and you have to make a circle. So Nat's going to roll it out. Now these are the things that they need. When they get everything ready, these are the things they need. These are the ingredients, and these are the tools, okay? Ingredients and tools. The ingredients are tomato sauce, grated cheese, and sliced tomatoes, okay? Of course, you also need dough, and that's part of the ingredients, right? The tools are rolling pin to roll the dough, a baking sheet, so you put everything on the baking sheet to put in the oven. And a spatula. Spatula. That's a Himduro word. Spatula. A spatula is a tool that helps you pick up the pieces of pizza or the whole pizza, right? Because the pizza is hot. You don't touch it. Up by all, right? So you use the spatula to pick it up. Okay. <clears throat> so Nat rolled the dough out. Dad put on the sauce. Remember the tomato sauce. So dad put the tomato sauce on the dough. And look what Nat did. Nat did a good job. He rolled it thin and he rolled it in a circle. So first dad put on the sauce and then Jasmine put on the cheese. Look at all the cheese. You can't see the sauce. They, she covered the sauce with cheese. That's a really cheesy pizza, <laughs> okay? Nat put on the tomatoes. So tomato sauce on the bottom, cheese on the top, and on the very top are tomatoes. Mmm, looks good. Now, Dad baked the pizza. Bake mean, bake, to bake something, you put it in the oven. And there's heat on the top, heat on the bottom, heat on the sides. There's heat all around it. You bake it. And afterwards, of course, you know what pizza looks like. This is the pizza here. It's very good, right? It looks really good. Look at all the cheese. Wow, it's a really cheesy pizza. Mmm, looks good. Okay, so that's cheesy pizza. What else are they going to make? They're going to make fruit kebabs, okay? So fruit kebabs are very healthy, and they're kind of light. They'll go well with the cheesy pizza. So fruit kebabs. Jasmine and Nat made fruit kebabs kebabs, fruit kebabs. And as you can see here, these, this is the fruit that they're going to use. 
right? They're going to use apples. They're going to use kiwi fruit or just kiwi. Kiwi is okay. Most people just say kiwi. Strawberries, grapes, banana, and pineapple. Wow, that's a lot of different fruit. This fruit kebab has a lot of different fruit in it, right? Dad cut up the fruit. He used a knife to cut up the fruit, the tool. Okay, now what is this tool here? It's skewers. Let's read. Jasmine and Nat put the fruit pieces onto skewers. A skewer is a metal piece or it can be wood. It can be wood or it can be metal. These look like wood, wood skewers, but you can also get metal skewers. And as you can see, they're just very long sticks with a sharp point. Jo shim hei, right? Be careful, you can hurt yourself, right? So be careful handling or using skewers. But they're very good because it's sharp, you can put the fruit on the skewers very easily. So Jasmine and Nat put the fruit pieces onto skewers. You can see pineapple, kiwi, banana, maybe next will be strawberry, maybe next will be grape, right? And here's all the fruit that they're using. Yum, yum means mmm, mashisoyo, yum, yum, right? Yummy, we also say yummy, yum or yummy, mmm, mashisoyo, right? It looks delicious. These fruit kebabs look tasty. Tasty is the same as delicious. They look delicious. They look tasty. Look at them here. Wow. Yeah, I'm re getting really hungry now. Mm, I think it's, it's time for dinner, <laughs> not lunch. Okay, it's time for a big meal. Okay, well, this looks really good. There's one more thing they're going to make too, and that is pink lemonade. So lemonade, as we know, is usually yellow, but they're going to make pink pink lemonade, like this color here. So, last of all, last of all, at the last, last of all, the children made pink lemonade. And our sentence? They got everything ready. Of course, they got everything ready. They get all the ingredients together, right? What are the ingredients? The ingredients are eight lemons. It's lemonade. You need a lot of lemons, right? Look at this. One cup raspberries. Did you know you can make lemonade with raspberries? Mmm, sounds good. Sounds like it will be sweet. Mmm, very good. They also use 10 tablespoons. Of course, that's a tool, not an ingredient. They use 10 tablespoons of white sugar. Well, 10 tablespoons, the spoon is a tool that you use for measurement, and the sugar white sugar is the ingredient. So you see, you can use a spoon as a tool to do something. You also use a spoon to measure. How much do you need? One tablespoon, two tablespoons, or 10 tablespoons? They need 10 tablespoons of white sugar to make it sweet. They use five cups of water. Again, a cup is a measuring tool. And this is a special cup because it shows exactly the amount of water they need. Five cups. And they need ice. They also need ice, of course, to make it cool. Then it's very refreshing, okay? These are the tools they will use. A pitcher, a pitcher to put the lemonade in and to serve the lemonade, to pour the lemonade. They need a juicer. We know about the juicer. We saw that before. What do you think they're going to use the juicer with? Which ingredient? Of course, they're going to use the lemons with the juicer. They're going to squeeze the lemons onto the juicer to get the juice from the lemons. And of course, they're going to use a spoon to measure the sugar. They're going to use, what's this? How do you pronounce that? A sieve sieve. That's a little bit of a difficult word. This is a special tool. It's like a bowl, right? It's like a bowl, but it has many holes in it. It has holes in it. If you pour water in here, the water just goes right through the holes. Why would you use something like this? Well, think about it. If you use the juicer 
to squeeze the lemons, you're going to get some of the seeds, lemon seeds. And when you're drinking your lemonade, well, you don't want to drink a lemon seed, do you? That's, that's weird, right? So what you do is you pour the juice into the sieve and the sieve lets the juice go, but it catches the seeds right? because it has holes and the holes are very small. So this is a sieve and we use it to separate things we don't want, right? We don't want the seeds. So pour the juice into the sieve. The sieve catches the seeds, but it lets the juice go out the bottom, okay? And then we have a bowl, of course, to mix everything in. Okay, well, these are the things we're going to need to make pink lemonade, but we're going to take a break right now. And when we come back, we're going to see how to combine these ingredients and tools and to make lemonade. Mmm, sounds good. And then we'll also have a surprise for mom. So, we'll see you next time.